I've been a master. I've been the creator. I've been the destroyer. I've been the light. I've been the darkness. I've been anything. Anything and nothing. I've been you. I've been me. I've been the plants. I've been the saints. I've been the rats. I've been the monkeys. I've been anything and nothing in once. I've been created. I've been the creator. I've been the destroyer and the conqueror. I've been the one that can change it. The one that have to stand up. I've been the one that can make it and the one that can break it. I've been the one that can make the whole world or break it. I've been the circle that can break it. I've been the part of it all. I can stand up and speak my mind and say what needs to be said. Or I can make the status quo. And let it be just the way it been. I've been the one. I cannot speak. I can see it. I've been you. I've been me. Anybody can make a difference if you are stand up and wants to give their heart to the case. Anybody can make a difference. You have only to give enough about your standpoint. You have to stand up for what we right. You have to give more than you ask. You have to stop it. You have to force it. You have to see. You have to let them understand your standpoint. You have to let them see how it be. You have to you have not to spare their selfish, apathetic ego. The ego is one stupid thing. The ego is what people blind from the reality. You can break it. You can now stop it. You can now say this is now and I go back. Or I can go further and make a plea and move forward. Apologize for the way you have lived. Veganism is easy. Veganism is easy if you watch it from the point of morality. Nobody in this whole world wants to be treated like an animal. A cow, a chicken, or a turkey, or a pig on this planet. Not even the people that been. Not that that can understand your language. No of you want to be treated like that. Just like then they have once said. <clears throat> The greatness and all process of one's nation can be judged in the way his animals have been treated. And that's the truth. As long as there be slaughterhouses, there will be battlefields. Because there need more land to take more feed from and put it to them so that they can eat the corpses of the animals. It is absolutely not effective to feed the whole world on a meat, dairy and eggplant on our way. On America don't. We don't can feed the world on that way. We can easily feed the world on a plant diet, on a vegan diet. So, you can make a difference by don't being an Full to the planet. Anybody can make a difference. Anybody can save lives. If it even if it look like in the beginning, if not, if you don't can do something about it. Any human can live, save at least the life of ten thousand animals in the whole life. Uh, ten thousand animals in the whole life. Ten thousand lives that you can save. You can make a difference. We live in a capitalistic society. Supply and demand. If you don't buy this 
evil corporate industries. If you don't pay them, they don't have money, the subscriptions go away and there gets destroyed. Injustice is injustice. Corporate industries that destroy the planet deserve no no respect. Think about all the life forms that we kill. Instead of you think, oh, they have no, uh, then we uh, destroy jobs. Fuck all you jobs. Fuck them. Your money is not more important than the life of other innocent animals. Your life is not more important than you. Money. Your life is not more important than the life of another living being. The, since when is the vandal more important than the victim? Since when is the rapist more important than the raper, than the person that be raped? Humans be not always in any situation equal. And then you say the rapist cannot do something about you because he is a rapist and he have rapist mindsets. Violence is a choice. So is uh, so is peace. It's all so nice dreams. Violence is always a choice. So is peace. It's always a choice. 100% of the time. You can always do being kind or being violent. And criminal, disgusting, disposal. It's always one choice. It is always one choice. For 100% of the time. And I'll ask you. How will you feel. If the day you've been born. Somebody else. Is already. Plan. The day. Of your execution. Because this is how it be to be a cow, a chicken or a turkey on this planet. That don't be free on this planet. Because we steal their freedom away from them. On the day that they've been born. We cut them from their mothers. Just like the Nazis have done with the Jews. And put them in different places. How feel you if that somebody do that to you? It is not so fine, is it not? Take your children away from them. Cows cry sometimes, weeks, sometimes months for their stunning ch child to be taken back to them. Give back to them. That being not over excited, the being the wrong. The grave of a mother that wants to be, have back her children. Injustice is injustice, is it not? Take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor, not the victim. Silence encourages the tormentor, not the tormented. No profit. No one profit. Have to be more important than the life and the freedoms and the liberties of other living creatures. No one single. No, no, no one profit, no matter how much, have to conquer righteous judgments.
and they have to feel the sword of Nemesis, of the Earthlings Nemesis. Earthling rights is the only true rights. You don't deserve rights more than another. That we play this shit all the ways. That we have only demon rights. Can you understand how it's actually been? Only rights for one creature and not right for other living creatures? Seems that not like demon rights. No matter how you believe in, if you believe in God, you have not to go to the um, Garden of Vegan. Ooh, um, even in the Garden of Eden, there of um, eat vegan. Genesis uh, one point um, twenty nine. Say, I give you food, uh, I give you plants as food uh, and all the seeds of the earth. It will be for you. There don't stand, I give you animals to eat. And they're lost. They stand. The, and a cow will uh, feed, well, walk with to your ass, and a little children will lead them. And if you also want to a little bit further, what's the reason that uh, God kill the whole Babylon community? Of course, they're the violent rituals. They're committing great sins like. Sexual mis, mis um, sexual um, d extremely sexual um, deeds like uh, what we do in America. Um, there are also commit sins in that are drinking wine and high, a lot of uh, highly alcohol products. There are also eat the flesh of other animals. That's also one of the sins where they're being murdered for. Um, um, <laughs> a lot of other things. And now I'm not to go a lot further with this, but the question remains. Why? You think that if God created the earth, the planet, and the other animals, they're being actually his children. He have created, just like us. Why God so then supports rape, torture, and abuse on his innocent animals? Why God so supports the meat industry? Why they so support the stealing of baby children? If God allowed the rape, the torture and abuse of other animals. I've got allowed torture to his innocent living children. If God allowed vivisection, if God allowed rodeos, bull fighting, dog fighting, cock fighting. Why? Why people think then? Why people think that God's allowed that? Actually, the only rational answer is that that the God you worship is nothing better than the devil you despise. Or the Satan, or the Mara, or the 
other demon-like creature want that wants to bring the world to this to his destruction. Awaken humans, awaken from your so-called red, black, devil, winged, monstrous dream. Not all humans be good and nice and friendly and peaceful. Not all humans want to be good and in harmony in this planet and the people that don't want that. I don't understand why we spare them. People that absolutely nothing give about anything. I ask them, if you don't give about anything, why you don't put not a knife between your throat and eliminate yourself from this planet? Should there, a lot of people don't have to be, and other living beings have to suffer for yourself, for your insane and not rightful life. Or make the world a better place by change your stupid beliefs and your traditions, your, your insanity and make the world a better place by Support, supporting the people that you claim that give so much about the planet by standing up for what we write to speak against injustice you stand to be the worthless little atamatam money slave you be it is better to be a person of farmhole instead to be in person of success.